Well, with everyone celebrating the start of baseball season at Bush with today's home opener, we thought we'd dig back into the video vault for some vintage opening day memories. Never mind a rain out to start the season, a snowstorm canceled the Cardinals home opener at Bush on April 8th, 1982. Remember that? It ended up being a good omen for the boys of summer, though. The Cardinals went on to win the World Series that year. There you go. Well, the Redbirds had some big names on the roster the day of their home opener 66 years ago. Let's go back to 1955, when August Bush Jr. was hoping the team he bought just two years earlier would bring home a title. April 14, 1955. Sportsman's Park is buzzing with excitement as the Cardinals play their home opener against the Milwaukee Braves. The locker room is ready to go, and Stan Musial, Ken Boyer, and Red Shane Deanst are among the Cardinals' stars warming up. There's a band to warm up the crowd, a flyover to thrill the fans, and great hopes for a big season. During the game, Milwaukee star Hank Aaron, number 44, easily gets on base. In the end, the Cardinals win the home opener 8-7. to But by May, with a losing record and many complaint letters from fans, August Bush Jr. would fire Cardinals manager Ed Stanky. It's our feeling that Eddie has done a good job. And he is our highest, has our highest regard and respect. And I hope that the fans will always see fit to criticize and try to run the ball club. With his outgoing manager on the left, new manager on his right, Gussie Bush announces Harry Walker's been brought up from the club's minor league team in Rochester and signed a one-year contract to manage the Cardinals. We have some fine managers in our organization, and we selected Harry Walker because of his record at Rochester. That's it. Walker was ready for the chance to take the team to the top. Your one desire is to win, and uh, when you finish your walk in the ballpark, that's the first thing I think about is trying to win and do the best you can. But the Cardinals ended the season with a losing record. Walker was fired, and Fred Hutchinson would be hired as the new manager. And the Cardinals would win eight more games in 1956 under Hutchinson. In 1957, the team finished second in the National League behind the Milwaukee Braves, who went on to win the World Series that year.